What's up survivors, I'm Natural Born, and in today's video we're going to be talking about the Trader Glitch. Now I heard about this quite some time ago, and as far as I was aware, it was patched out of the game a long time ago. Now somebody brought it to my attention that this was still in the game. So after doing some research and testing, I was shocked to find out that yes, this is still in the game, and it will never be patched out of the console version. So I wanted to share this glitch with all of you. For anybody who's unaware of what this glitch does, you can basically use it to get any object within a trader's compound, like items that would normally only be obtainable through the creative menu, like the White River flagpole or a working vending machine. So I headed over to my main world, which is the survival world, and thought I'd show you guys how to do this in your own world. First what you want to do is find yourself a volunteer and lead him into the trader's compound or anywhere within the boundary of where you will hear that horrible noise of when you hit bedrock. Now you want to take down the zombie and this is where you have to be quick because you have to do this before the body turns into a gore block. Take your weapon and hit the item that you would like to receive. Once you've done that, go back and hit the zombie's body. The body will disappear and the item will go into your inventory. Now you have to do this in one hit, so if your weapon's weak, make sure to damage the body before hitting the item that you desire from the trader. I went for the flag and the vending machine. I also tested this with a dead tree just outside of the traders but still in his boundaries and this worked too. This is a great way to get your hands on a few different items for building in survival mode that you could normally only get from the creative menu. And let's be honest, who doesn't want a working vending machine inside of their base? If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more console content. But as always, stay safe out there survivors, and I'll see you in the next one.